customer service centre and complaints area about anything that the government is not doing right, we'd like to hear your complaints. And these are the things we're doing. Reducing crime. Everybody that I talk to in Malaysia, they are concerned about rising street crime. And that's why everyone is involved in that place to try and see what we can do. The good news is when they started to do what we are about to do, what we are already doing on, on reducing crime in the UK, they made tremendous progress there. There's a lot of things we're doing. Corruption. There are a lot of things we have to do with corruption. Corruption is an imperative. We must make sure we get rid of corruption in this country, how difficult it may be. We need all of us to do it together. Corruption involves us tackling the giver and the taker. We are putting things like whistleblower policy. We will be making changes to the, to the law to give the whistleblower protection. And we will be making transparent all the things we're doing on procurement making sure that the best practices on procurement is there so that we spend our public money properly on what matters to the public rather than it be leaked to corrupt people. And I call these two sides the sins of mankind. The three, the two C's, crime and corruption. All the other NKRA are the good things like education. We all want to do something about this. When we looked at countries that have made a lot of difference on education, there was one key distinction between us and South Korea, us and Finland, and us and many other countries. We have to improve the quality of our preschool and primary school because that is the foundation. By the time they go to secondary school, when the foundation is not correct, we are doing patchwork. More than 20,000 teachers have to go through a training program next year alone to convert them so that they become good primary school teachers. Poverty cuts through all race. I believe you me, we are doing everything we can to improve the hardcore poor, to shift them towards them so that they're no longer hardcore, and through the what we call Project Azam. We're not only giving them the money so that they're lifted out from the hardcore absolute poverty line, which is 440 ringgit. We want to make sure that we give them for the Azam Tani, that means the agricultural aspect, we give them uh, seedlings so that they know how to get out if they are farmers, and all the goats that's needed so that they can come out, out of it, so that they don't just depend on the government. We're also doing uh, the, what's called Azam, uh, what you call uh, Niaga, that means helping those who want to small businesses to get out from it. And also Azam Kerja, that means giving them jobs. And then uh, Hidmat, the services side of it. The comprehensive aspect of how we get people out from it is very important. By the way, the urban public transport, the folks in Kuala Lumpur, they are tired of our problem with urban public transport. The strategy in the past was, we focus on providing roads. We focus on people getting cars but we're jamming the city of Kuala Lumpur. We have to find a way how to make public transport attractive to people so that they can choose to then use the public transport. <laughs> what the lab decided to do was we have to create another hub in Gombak. We level out the place and we put another place in Gombak so that 500 of the buses that come from all over the country go there to Gombak rather than Puduraya we decongest. Now here, I must say, we are not here to debate with you, but rather to seek your feedback and your input, so that we enrich our work. This is not a point for a debate, this is a point to seek input and feedback. This is the book that I talked about, we will release at the end of next month, and then we will make it available to the public, and then we stand to be counted as a government to make these things happen, accountability. So, when you can give us the input, we'll enrich this and when we make it available, then we will, every year, we'll publish a report. Every year, we commit to publish an annual report about what we have delivered, what we have not yet delivered. This is transparency. We are moving into a new, entirely different way of managing it. The current Prime Minister is absolutely focused on the need for transformation for us as concerned Malaysia. Let me conclude by saying, Unfortunately, we human beings sometimes, when one door closes, 
another door open. Unfortunately, we spend so much time looking regretfully at the door that has closed. We forget to look at the door that is open before us. And I believe today, ladies and gentlemen, the Prime Minister has opened us a new door. Let us all together take this new door. And then we will make a difference. I came to the government only for one reason alone. I don't want this job, to be very honest with you. I only came because I believe we have to take that other door. As a concerned Malaysian, I believe if we don't do this, we have ourselves only to be blamed. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your support and God bless.